do 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 do. From Albert Pion, director of one of the best fantasy films of the 80s, Sword and the Sorcerer, comes the rap horror, oh the horror, 1999's Urban Menace. Some gangbangers torture community church and the priest of said church gains supernatural powers and kills the gangbangers. Also, one of the gangbangers want to get out of the hood and is helped by the righteous preacher and... I can't be fucked anymore, really. Urban Menace is 60 minutes of motherfucker this and motherfucker that taking place in an abandoned Eastern European warehouse photographed through a Vaseline lens and later smeared with what surely is the worst colour grade I've ever seen in a widely released, unquote, feature. I had heard bad things about Pion's contribution to the most unlikely of subgenres, the hip-hop horror, and Urban Menace sure as hell disappointed. The script is littered with tedious action cliches and beyond forgettable dialogue. The much ad libbing by people whose names were built on such a thing is embarrassing. Big pun is an apt moniker because this fat fuck is an absolute joke in this. 60% of his contributions to the poor quality soundtrack are completely inaudible, and whatever speech impediment he suffers from makes him always sound like he's on the verge of a fucking stroke. Big pun might be the epicenter of shit regarding the cast, but no one else really fares that well, with the sole exception of Tahita, who I thought put in a decent turn. Not even Snoop Dogg, with his effectively slinky presence, has anything worthwhile to contribute to this soft focus blown out turd. In conclusion, Urban Menace is simply god awful. Whether you're into the cameo in artists or not, it is simply an appalling hour long showcase of poor action set pieces, even worse composition, and a bored looking lineup of late 90s gangster rappers whose faces simply can't tell you enough that they are just in it for the money. Just plain torture. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Tomorrow's film is 2001's Jason X.